Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today I want to share with you my design team project for May May Made It. The theme this month for the designers is to layer it up, meaning use as many layers as they possibly can on whatever project we are making. Today I want to share with you this really fun card. Here's the front of it. Now this card does not open like a normal card, only the top two-third open. So when you open up that flap, on the inside it creates a pocket, which is a perfect spot for a gift card. Really super cute and easy to make. So the first thing you will need is a piece of card stock for the base of the card. This piece measures eight and a half by five and a half. You want to score that at four and a quarter. Then you want to bring in your trimmer and your card base piece. And we're going to line up the five and a half inch mark at the top. The left side edge, you want to line that up at the three and five eighth inch mark. Take your trimmer blade and you're going to cut from the top all the way down to that score mark. I already have one here. So here's our card base. Again, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Bring in your trimmer, the five and a half inch mark is at the top. Your left side edge, you're gonna line that up at three and five eighths. Take your trimmer and then cut from the top down to that square mark. And that creates the flap there. Okay, so let's set that aside. So we have our card base. Now let's grab all of our layers. So we have our pink layers. And you can use any color you like. The pink piece for the front top layer, this measures three and three quarter by three and one quarter. The pink for the bottom is three and three quarter by one and a half. Our white layers to go on top of that one. The white one here is three and a half by three. Then we have another one, three and a half by one and a quarter. Then we have the white for the inside of the card, which measures four by five and a quarter. And a piece of scrap brown and a piece of scrap pink. I'm going to set all these aside. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to do our stamping. I'm using two of Maymay's stamps. The first one is Cup of Cup. We'll be using a large cup, the sleeve, the coffee bean, and the greeting that says A Cup of Cheer on Me. The next one we're using is called Patina, and I'm using this shape here that looks like a coffee ring. All right, so let's set them aside. Let me grab my inks. I'm just using a pink ink and a brown ink. So I have our brown and our pink. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the coffee ring and dip that in my brown ink, but I'm also gonna stamp off so it's not so dark, then stamp on the front of the card. Just make sure you rotate it. And you can do this either before or after you cut the card. here and then one more in that bottom corner there should be pretty good okay so there's the front of the card all right now let's finish our stamping so we have the inside of the card and again this piece measures a four by five and a quarter that same brown ink I'm gonna grab that little coffee bean ink that in the upper right hand corner I'm gonna do three of them okay so the inside of the card is done now we have our layer so we have our white layer that goes on top of the pink. On the larger white, again, that same coffee bean all over to create our pattern. Oh, let me flip that over. Straight down and straight up with the stamps. This is a fun stamp set, um, especially this time of year if you have family or friends that drink coffee. Great card to give with a gift card to their favorite coffee spot. I am a big coffee drinker, but I'm not a big coffee spot drinker. I can say I've never been inside a Starbucks, never tasted their coffee. I'm fine with my homemade. Alright, so there's our, the top layer. Now we have the bottom layer. I'm going to grab the greeting, and again my greeting says a cup of cheer on me. I'm going to stamp that in the pink ink and stamp it on the right hand side a bit of an angle again straight down straight up now I'm going to grab that same coffee ring and the brown ink I'm not going to ink it off this time or stamp it off and I'm going to stamp this on the left hand side like that and grab that coffee bean again and stamp that kind of on the bottom right I can do two over here just to kind of fill in that spot over there all right, now we're done with all of our layers. Now you wanna grab your scrap piece of pink and brown. 
I'm going to grab the large coffee cup. I'm going to ink that up in the brown ink. Stamp that down. Set that aside. Now we have our scrap piece of pink. Now before I stamp that, I'm going to bring in my Cricut trimmer again. And I'm going to score this just roughly about every quarter of an inch. Doesn't need to be exact. Just so it looks like that piece that they give you on the coffee sleeves, how they're kind of corrugated. This is kind of the same thing. I'm not even measuring, I'm just eyeballing. I have ink on my finger. Okay, so maybe a few more. Set the trimmer aside. Now let's grab that coffee sleeve image. I'm going to stamp that again, that same brown ink. Straight down, straight up. All right, we can close the ink, otherwise, I'll probably dip my finger in them. As you can see, I already did. All right, now, before I cut it out, I do want to go ahead and fold on those score marks. This way, it gives this piece some texture, and again, it kind of reminds the, of you of the coffee sleeve that they put on coffee. You can also use a crimper if you have that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now because we scored it and folded it, the paper is pliable. Just kind of be careful when you're cutting it out. And it's a lot easier to cut after you score it. All right, so we have that piece. Let's set that aside. Let's grab our coffee cup, and we're gonna cut that out. Now, if you are like me, and you're kind of terrified of fussy cutting because you can't cut straight, this stamp set is really good for that. Um, they're pretty much just straight lines. Again, it's a coffee cup. So it doesn't need to be exact. I apologize for the girls. You must hear something that mommy does not hear. Which I guess is a good thing. All the doors are locked though, so. All right. Got the little lid part and then straight down. Okay, so we have all that cut out. Let's clear up my mess. Now we're going to start laying our card. Let's scooch all these stamps out of the way. We have this piece, this piece, and all these ones. All right, we're going to first work with the inside. Again, we already stamped that piece. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. This is a fresh new bottle of glue. Oops, it's kind of dripping on me. I think I have the lid on wrong. Let me grab a wipey. Yep, this is real life, guys. <laughs> real life. All right, let's try this again. So you can see the glue is coming out super quick. I'm actually gonna blot some of this off. this on the inside, get it straight and centered. Okay, now I want to glue the bottom of this piece. Just the left side and the bottom. I'm dripping glue everywhere. Alright, then close this up. That creates a pocket for our gift card. Okay, now we have the top. A little nervous on using that glue now because it's in a dribble all over the place, including myself. All right, it seems like it's under control now. Just clean my fingers off. All right, let's put the white or the pink piece on. Just center it in that top part. Then we have our pink piece. I think I need to let the air out of the glue. That's what it is, I think. All right, and just line this up with the pink on top so they're even. All right, now we're gonna glue this guy down. Okay, and again, I need to clean my fingers off so I get glue all over them. And that's gonna go on top of this one. And you can always kind of go wonky if you want to. All right, now we have this piece. We're gonna flip this over and put that on some foam squares. And I'll have all the sizes for these 
um, pieces listed below in the description box of the video and also on my blog which is linked below and May Maid's blog and her Facebook group as well. Alright, so let's take the backing off of these guys. We give them a good squish. I think there's a trash man out there. Sounds like a trash truck. Alright, this is going to get lighter on the bottom. Try Again, try to be even with the white. We're close to it. Okay. Let's grab our little coffee sleeve. You can also stamp inside here if you want to, but I chose to stamp down here. All right, we're gonna flip that guy over. I think I'm just gonna do, do three foam squares for the bottom. I think that'll be good. Give them a squish. Take the backing off and the card is done. I'm gonna put that on top in a bit of an angle. Then when you open it up, you have the top piece here that opens and you can put a gift card in there. I just have my business card here, just so you can see how it fits in there, really cute. And there's still enough room there you can write your message. But there you go, my friends, there's that card and that card. Don't forget, if you want to go to my blog, leave me a comment, I'll pick a winner to receive the same exact card kit, so you can make the same exact card, all the pieces are already cut for you. Um, details for that are on my blog. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.